Hello, today is Tag Tuesday. So I want to make these tags. Um, it is paper bag and I've stenciled some molding paste on it. So I thought I would just let you tag along because I'm going to make some more. So what you need is a paper bag. Um, let me move this and this tag shape uh, is my favorite tag shape is the Sizzix uh, framelits it's tag collection so I love that tag shape so anyways let me move this and I'm gonna do it all on my make art station but I want to show you how I cut my bag first Hopefully you don't hear any crash, bang, boom here. Move this out of the way. I've got a bucket of water on my desk too, so um, I'm pretty crowded right now because I got a lot of a lot of things pulled out. All right, my bag, just a regular bag, and all I did was. To save time, I cut the bottom off. I, I know everybody knows how to cut the bottom off. So that's all I did was cut the bottom off. I got that far and then I said, whoa, wait, I better show the rest. So let me, I'm just going to pick a, a seam and cut it on a seam. And I'm trying to be straight as possible. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to fold this in half. Oops. Okay. I probably should have waited to bring this over. I'm just going to set it next to me. Oh, goodness. Okay. So this is your bag opened up. And I want the, the wording on the inside because I'm going to glue, I'm going to fold this in half, oopsie, like this, and make tags. But I want it to be strong, so I'm gluing two, two together. So all I'm going to do is fold this in half, like so, lengthwise. And then I'm sure my tag is, yeah, see that's, uh, uh, most bags, they're different. Some are shorter, some are taller. I've already glued some. Um, let's see here, I've got some drying right here. And look at how short these are. This is from Tops, and this one is from Kinney's. So that one's a, a little bit taller. So these are short, but they're still tall enough for that tag. So I've already glued those, I got them drying, but I just wanted to show you how I cut them. So just roughly cut that in half, or cut in half, fold it in half, and then I'm gonna cut them. Now, I'll bring this back up. All right, way too much happening here. Right, I'm going to stand up for this one. So, I know my tag is, I'm using the big one, um, is six and a half tall by three and a half wide. I know my, um, how tall they are. I know I, I have enough clearance there. So, I'm just going to basically um, cut three and a half strips. And I'm going to do it as they're folded together. So when I glue, I'm just gluing one side, fold it over. It makes it really easy. And I know that three and a half is a little bit bigger than my tag. So when I cut it out. And that's how I measure that. That's how I do everything. I say I'm making this tag. I will make a square a little bit bigger than that tag. With that dimension that's why I have 
uh, writing on all of these, all my dimensions. It's just how my brain works. Okay. <clears throat> Hang on, let me take a sip of my tea real quick. Sorry. Okay, so I know, and I'm not bothered that this is missing a piece here. It just adds to the, the beauty. Okay, so three and a half, I know I gotta go 10 and a half. I'm gonna go 10 and a half. And then I'm gonna go seven and then three and a half. And how I know this is because I cheat. I have a, a sheet here, <laughs> has all my measurements on there for a lot of things that I do all the time so that I know the width of my cutting, where I need to go and it just helps me. I can look at it and not have to think, okay, three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. I can just assembly line. Just something I do. All right. Ten and a half. Seven. Three and a half. And I think I got ten tags out of one grocery bag. So that was pretty cool. And a half, seven, three and a half. All right. This one looks like we're going at three and a half here. And I'll have one skinny strip for something else. All right. I think I'm done with this. Let me get rid of it. Give me a little bit more dex space so I'm gonna use my scotch create glue today and I need some gluey papers and I'm just using an old um, uh, magazine clothing or whatever we get a ton of these in the mail so <sighs> might as well make use of them so basically all I did was, and I kind of like that that has a seam there because it just adds to it. I'm just going to glue a few of them just to show you how I glued them. Because I noticed my videos are a little bit long, so I'm going to try to speed it up until the day that I have a pause button. I love this glue. I haven't tried the uh, Yuhu glue. I think that's what it's called. I haven't tried that yet. I've never really ordered it. I don't know. I usually buy whatever I can get at um, Joann's or Michael's with a coupon. So, all right, I'm gonna fold this in half because I can use it for a smaller item. And then, let's fold that, and then I've got my big, sorry, oh, squeegee here. And I could probably come in, oh, I'm just gonna rip that off. All right, that was easy. And this is just, uh, a little uh, scraper I got at Dollar Tree. So I love it. I use it for big items. Okay, there you have it. It's one tag. So that has to dry. Uh, I'll do one more and then move on to the stenciling. Because that's the fun part. I love the feel of the uh, paper bag tags. Pretty cool. Plus, um, here 
in New York, they took our, whoopsie, I had to get rid of this. Um, they took our plastic bags away. So all we have is paper bags or reusable bags. So if you forget your reusable bag in the car, you're stuck buying a paper bag. Five cents or I think whatever it is. Okay, let me see how many I got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a skinny one. So that that's for just one paper bag. I mean, I guess you could make it, um, put another layer on there and make it really thick, but. Once you put the texture paste on there, it, it's, it's pretty good. So, and get rid of this. Bring up my Make Art Station. Get rid of these papers. Um, actually, I'll leave these out in case I need it. Okay. As I said, Yesterday in my video when I was doing the accordion booklet thing, I love this thing. I wasn't sure if I was going to use it, but I love it. All right, I've got some here. Um, okay, this one's dry. I have a bunch that I did that are dry. Let me just pull those out. And I was trying to decide what to do on the back. Uh, I was toying with the... Um, thought of maybe cutting a guest check down or ripping it and putting that on the back. I'm not really sure yet. I haven't decided. I did cut out another one here. Uh, and I put a um, tracing paper pocket on the front of it. So, which is cool. So, so you could put stuff in there. And I, I did the tracing paper because I really wanted to see um, the texture behind it. I really like that. So I'm not sure, you know, how I'm going to decorate these, but I really, I love it so far. Okay, so these are the ones I did. And these are dry. Uh... And I basically used, these are the taller bag, love this one. I used my, I only pulled out these, but these are my um, Tim Holtz, the mixed media stamps and stencils. So I used these. So this is how I store them. This is in the bags I get from scrapbook.com, the extra large. Um, and I have the stencil in the back. So I'll do some of these. And it's basically, I always keep my packaging. And I just took a piece of um, poster board, cut it to fit the envelope, glued on my packaging. I had, of course, I had to cut it off a little bit, which was okay. I still got the information. And then the stamp set. Um, I basically made it like a fold. I put tape up here, packing tape, before I did anything to make it like a flap. Then I put, um, this one's a little wonky, I put um, red line tape on the back side of it, stuck it to here, so everything stays together. So I don't think I'm going to use the stamps today. I don't think I'll have time for that, but I'll use the stencils. Oh, okay, I missed this one. This one's a new one. I love the sewing one. Um, this one I had. This one is new. These um, were in clearance at Joann's for like $7. Yeah, so there you go. All right, um, let's see. All right, let me just pick a stencil. Let's see. 
Let's do this one, this art one. I already have it pulled out, so. I just want to show you how I did it. And then I need, where's my paper? There it is. Okay, these are just dry. Those are done. Okay, those are the ones I have to play with. All right, I'm just going to take one of these and did I have a piece of paper already? Just thinking. Yeah, I think I did have a piece of paper underneath. Yeah. Okay. I I watched a video um, this morning on this make art, um, and they do have other accessories for it. So I have this that I showed yesterday, and this is a um, like a stamp positioner where you and it it's strong. Where if you want to stamp like for a block, you would. Let me grab a block. You would basically, well, if you did this for a block, this would be for a clear stamp. This would be for a block. You set it where you want it on your project, okay? And then every time, like say, okay, my project is here, but I want my stamp to be down here. So you go like that. That's where I want it. I'll save it there. So every time, that's where you would put it. That's how that works. But yeah, I just stuck it in this envelope because I'm, I'm not good with those plastic sheets, putting stuff back in them. So I'll keep that in there. Okay, let's get on with the task. And I'm leaving the folded part at the top. And I think because this has this crease here, um, that's where I'm going to stencil. So I'm just going to place this on here where I want it. I think I'm going to kind of, oopsie. I know you can get smaller um, magnets as I watch the video, but for me, because I have arthritis, these are really easy for me to pick up. So I'm basically going to stay to the side there um, because when I squeegee this, um, I want room. And there was another thing that I did that I, it was trial and error. I taped that down. So let me grab that tape too. Because with this bumping up, if that's taped down, it's so much better. So I'm going to do this just to keep it until I tape it. I'm going to put a piece of tape. Grab my Teflon scissors. So probably about right there. And then I'm just going to cut this in half. Okay. Yeah, that worked out the best. Okay, let's get on with it. And this is the um, golden, the light molding paste. I got this at um, Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you can get it anywhere or on Amazon or anything. And just basically, I'm going to move these out. I didn't do it 
overdo it on how much I put on here. And instead of me going like that, this was the easiest. I mean, I, I've tested this for a couple weeks now because I didn't want to waste your time. And I want to try to color this as well to see what it's like. I have some uh, of the um, ink. All right, so I'm going to start up at the top. I'm basically going to push it down like this. I love that. Oopsie. All right. I need, definitely need more. Less is better, and if you have to go a couple times. But I really like this, this technique like this. Okay. I'll start here and work my way down. I can go this way and see where I missed. And I'm just dragging it across. I don't want it real thick. What's nice about this Make Art Station is you can flip it around. I love this thing. I think I could sell this on a street corner for sure. I think I got enough on there to finish. Yeah. A little bit more right there. Okay. I think that's good. So I'm just going to take the rest of it off here, scrape it off so there's no waste. Now I got these little trowel things, a package of these at Dollar Tree works just fine. Alright, I'm going to take a, what am I going to take, paper towel paper towel and just wipe this off. Okay. Sorry. I got some on my hands. I gotta... Okay. Then I'm gonna wipe it off on here. All right, I think I pretty much got it clean. I'm going to pull this up. Uh, oh no, I'm going to leave this. Pull my tape up first. Put the lid on. Get my tape. And I'm going to save this tape. I'm going to shelf next to me. I'm just going to stick it on. Okay. So I can reuse that. Then I'm going to pull it up from the top. I know this has been done. This is just me having fun. I haven't, you know, this is my first time doing all this stuff. But look how cool! I love that. I just love that. So, I didn't plan on an area to set these aside to dry somewhere, so I'm going to have to get up, put it somewhere, and I'm going to put this in my soapy water. And I just have a bucket here of soapy water. All right, let me set this aside to dry. If I was smart, I would have um, cleaned off my project cart, the top of it, and I could have laid them in there. All right, I'm gonna grab another, let's see. like that one. I did that one. Let's do... Which one do I really, really love? I love the numbers. Um, 
Let's do this number one. I really like it. Okay. Pull the stencil out here. One second. Sorry. I need a new band aid here. I don't have a boo boo. I just um, I have really bad arthritis on my ring finger on my right hand, and if I bang it. Um, the skin is pretty tight right now, and I don't want to bang it because it would not be good. And the Band-Aid just protects it. So yeah, I don't want to gross you out by showing it, but there's a bump there. It's just arthritis. Okay, there we go. Alright, let me grab another one. And then I'll do uh, try to do color. So I'm going to set this where I want it. Just trying to, I can see through the stencil, I'm within uh, the tag here. I mean, I'll lose a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to put this on. And then put my tape. I think the tape really helps go smoothly. And it's just painter's tape. Okay. I'm already at 26 minutes. Wow. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to move these out to the edges. And grab my little card here. And put some of this on. sure my tape is good I mean if you get um, molding uh, paste on these they clean up so I'm just doing it at an angle I love this thing this station I really do Easy peasy. I know I got a little bit light there on the four at the top, so I'll just probably go over it. Press too hard. There. And then a little bit more there. I think that's good. I'm going to call that good. Okay. that on until I'm ready for it again. Take these off and I did get some on there. It's okay. Um, I'm going to leave these until I get my tape off. Just clean up my tape a little bit. Okay. I'll be making a lot of these. Okay, I'm going to pull it from the top again. Love it. That is so cool. All right, drop that in my water. Push it down with my 
tool here. They pretty much sink to the bottom, so that's a good thing, I guess. And that's that. Isn't that cool? I mean, you don't have to cut a tag shape. You can do anything. Labels. I mean, yeah, the brain is going cuckoo already. All right, now I want to try color. So, and this cleans up with soapy water. Okay, put that in the sun to dry. All right, the next one I'm going to try color. Okay, there's my top. Um, so let's see. Um, let me do this one. Let's do this one. I've got set numbers on here because it says 10 at the end, and I'm hoping I have this correct. If I'm not, is if if anyone knows, just let me know. I'm, I'm guessing that that's the set number. All right, let's see. I don't want to get that on there pretty good. So I got good coverage, and I do. Set these, and then I'll put my tape. I might have maybe one or two more uses out of this tape because it's starting to rip the paper, but that's okay. Okay. All right. Let me get these out of the way because I want to do some color and thinking what would look good with brown. Um, I'm just trying to think of a color. How about picked raspberry or this one here is aged mahogany. Let's try that. Ooh. I love this peacock feathers too. Let's do the peacock. I'm so indecisive. Okay. I have this. Last time I was at Hobby Lobby, $2.99. I saw this ink blending mat. Um, I haven't opened it yet, so let me uh let me get it open here. And um I have an idea that I can mix this uh, with the ink. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere. Somebody do it. So let me get this. I hate staples. I think I'm allergic to them. I got too much going on here. Okay. It looks like it has two sizes in there. This one. And then this small one. So I'm thinking I might use the small one right now. So let me just try that and see if see if I make a mess. Let's do this. Okay. So basically, um, I can only mix. Um, sorry, the struggle's real with arthritis. Um, I can only mix up what I'm going to use. So let's just. I'm not really sure how this is going to work out, but. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of this on there. Um, that might be good. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. It's like making frosting.
Okay, I think I got, it could be darker, but I think I got enough color. All right, let's see what we get. Kind of cool. I have a feeling I'm going to like this process for sure. I got a lot on there. All right, this might be a train wreck, but I'm going for it. Oh, wow. It's going to be just, yeah, I love it. Kind of mixes itself as it goes. Okay, I'm hoping I don't need any more because I'd have to do the mix thing all over again. I think I can make it work. Yeah. I love this turning, be able to turn this. Oh. Wow, all right. Insane. Okay. Don't get crazy. Love that. Now I got extra. So I didn't plan for that. Um, let me just grab a stencil and just do a portion of it. Right? Totally fine. Okay, I'm just going to do a portion of it, whatever I got on here. That's cool. I hope you can see I'm not even in frame. I'm like way down here in the dungeon. Yeah, that's so cool. So I just used up what I had on there. Okay, that's super cool. Okay, let me clean this off. I love that. Gotta get this off. I think I'm gonna get new tape. Okay. Started to come up on me. Wow. That is so awesome. I love that. So I have that one. So just be prepared if you mix too much. I don't know if you can see the color, but that is so cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let me rip this up. So I didn't get the whole thing, but that is so cool. I can't even tell you in real life how cool it is. All right, let me set these aside to dry. And... Maybe I'll do one more color because I'm already at 38 minutes. Yeah, but I'm having fun. <clears throat> All right, I, want, I really want to try that uh, aged mahogany. So let me clean this off. I think I'm going to use a baby wipe on this one here. I just have my little bucket that I keep them in. This is just, I don't know, I've had this forever. It doesn't seal anymore, but... I keep them in here so I'm not going through a noisy bag. Certain certain noises just I don't know. Okay. All right. I like this blending mat. Wow, what a good buy that was. That's awesome. Okay. So, need another tag. 
and another stencil. I want to pick my color too. This aged mahogany. I'm going to go with that one. I love that color. Peacock feathers. All right. Let's see. What do we have? Um, let's do this one. Set three. This is the one with the butterflies. Okay. I'm having an avalanche here on my desk. Let me... Oh no, it still wants to avalanche. <clears throat> Let me move these. Okay. Squeaky chair. I gotta do something about my chair. Drive me bananas. My husband tried to fix it. I done broke it good. <clears throat> Sorry, take a sip of my tea. Mm. Lemon tea and honey. Delish. Alright, um let's see if I want more of that or more of that. I love this down here. So I think I'm gonna get like that. Right there. And I need some new tape. easy way. This is how I usually cut it. I not I know not everybody has a rotary and ruler, but there we go. Okay. And this, putting the tape on, it I find it really, really helps keeping that down. So, because I can be a little bit aggressive. All right, let me get a blank piece of paper so you can see. Let's see here. This has wording, but yeah. All right. Get these. Okay. This one I want dark. I'm going for it. Okay. Look like that. If I have extra, I have extra. I'm excited about the extra now. I better have a thing ready. extra um, stencil ready for extras. Okay. I don't know if this ink dries pretty quickly or what, so I'm like panicked to mix it. Oh yeah, I got way too much. Enough for two tags here. Still got some on my hello my thing here. Okay. I think it'll mix as I go along, so yeah, I got way too much, but that's okay. this around Let's 
reason my tape wasn't down, but that's okay. That looks good. Wow, I got a lot. Okay. Peel this off. Love it. Stick this in my water. Okay. That turned out really well. I got a little thick right there, but that's okay. Yeah. So, I'm almost thinking if I whitewashed with gesso on these bags before I did the color ones, did it in color, that would be cool. So, that might be something I'll try. All right, I'm going to set this aside and use up this other... Grab a new paper here. Good thing I made some tags up ahead of time. Wow. Okay, I'm going to use this one here. It's got dots and X's. X's and O's. Put my tape down. Sorry for the squeaky. Just make sure your tape is down real good or that paste gets right up underneath there. All right. Use what, I might have enough for three here. I don't know. Let's see. I feel a sneeze coming on, sorry. I, don't, I think I'm gonna make it work here. May have a little extra. I'm gonna flip this around. Yep, I got plenty extra. So let me grab another tag, take this off. Okay. What's cool is I have a little bit of white there that didn't didn't mix at the bottom there which is okay. But yeah, that's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, I'll be back. I've got tags scattered everywhere. All right, I'm going to do this one. Um, of course, I didn't take out another thing. Here's one here. I should have just took them all out. Okay, this one's cool. I love this station thing, it's so cool. Okay, might not have enough, which is okay. I'll just get what I can. I really like this. Um, I might. 
I like this bottom part. I'll just do one side in case I can't make it. But I think I am. Wow. Totally. I should have pulled out all my stencils. I mean, look, I have more. So, yeah. Uh, take this off. Get that in the water. Be right back. Oh, wait a minute. I could set it right here. Got a spot. Okay. I got enough for one little bit more. Turn that over. Kind of bummed I didn't take out all my, my stencils here. And I have other ones too. I could have dragged. I just didn't think I was going to be this this long. Okay. Okay. I have a clean up on aisle one when I'm done here for sure. I'm going down the center of this just random because I know, well, I might have enough. Wow. Boy, I really. It's starting to get thick, so I'm trying to hurry and not being, being reckless. But yeah, I think that's good. And, uh, Definitely want to use it all. Put this in my water. So I'm done with that. Okay. There's another tag. So you see, you can, if you haven't made up ahead of time, you can just go to town if you've got a theme or something. Just make a whole bunch. That's cool. That is so cool. All right, got to get that in my water. If you're going to do the water bucket thing, just make sure you push them down to the bottom because they, they're at the top, but I want them submerged. Okay, I need a place to set this. Okay. I got enough for a little bit more, so I'm going to do, I'm going to use it. All right, what do we have here? <clears throat> Don't tell me I used them all. Oh, here's one. That one there, that's cool. Okay. I like this one. This was my favorite. I wish I'd have used this. Just love that. fingers cooperate okay all right I know I don't know how much I'm gonna get but um, I'm just gonna go down the center I'm just gonna use it use it up not much it's getting pretty pretty stiff too, pretty dry. So yeah. I think that's about it. I think I've done all I can do. Okay, I'm gonna stick that in the water too. Stick this puppy in the water. Not too bad. Didn't make too much of a mess. Okay. How 
cool is that? Just, I kind of like that. I would make a bunch of those too. We're just getting random stuff. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's see. Make sure everything's in there. All right, let me set this aside. Run out of places to put things. Just going to wipe this down. These clean right off. That one's good. All right. There's that. And I'll just show you uh, the ones I did to cut. I'll cut those. Let me set this aside. All right, let me grab my, got a little bit of, my die cut machine, I'll be right back. Die. It's this big one here. And wow, I did quite a few. Let's see, this one I already cut out. I'm going to cut this one out. I really think I want to put something on the back. So we'll see. Um, just going to see where I want to brick at the top or the bottom? I think I want the brick at the bottom. And I want all brick. So I'm going to go with it like that. So if you want to color these beforehand, there's an option there. Or I could probably um, distress these after the fact color in but I think I want to do some something over the front of them I'm not sure this is I love this one um, at the top. yeah I like it like that so just cut a, a couple of these out and um, I thought about Stamping over the top, too. You could do that, too. So, see? Really cool. Very cool. It just gives you a base, you know? And I thought I would just make a bunch of these. I think I will take the plain ones here and do some... Um, like dry brushing of um, gesso over the top and then come in with some color and I've got uh, some other stencils too so that would be really cool yeah I think I might do that this is really cool it almost looks like frosting super cool okay and then as far as the back I'm not sure I thought about maybe uh, I want to keep guest check in there, but I thought about ripping this down and putting that on the back or stamping lines on the back or something. I'm not really sure, but yeah, that'd be cool. So there's my tag share for the day. And then you can always do something like this. We have, um, you can put something in there like that another tag or some uh, flowers Let's see. Um, have my flowers here I can even put some whoop, some flowers in there 
cool. That one's kind of hard to see. Let's do this purple one. Yeah. Yeah. It would be cool to have little pocket tags and then um, put little goodies in there. I like that. I really like that. But I do want to put something on the back. And it once this dries, um, it's it's pretty thick. It, it, for a paper bag, it, I mean, I love it. I just love it. And you're using up stuff that would just go in the in the garbage or in the recycling bin. If they recycle it, I don't know. Who knows? But yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll say goodbye for now until the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye.